I hate to break it to you, language learner. Language learning is guaranteed to be hard for you. And if it isn't hard yet, it will be eventually. Here's why that's actually a good thing. But let's back up for a second. You might resonate when I tell you about my own language learning journey, both as a bright-eyed beginner beginning her first language and a seasoned language learner who, even after having four languages under her belt, struggled to learn her fifth. At the beginning, I was led by my own timing, my own curiosity with my first foreign language, German, using physical flashcards during the ample time I had during study hall at school, secluded away from the online world and submerged inside my own escape from my teenage problems that German afforded me. Learning German felt easy at that point. Naturally, I wanted to connect to others who loved their language as much as I did. As I searched the internet for people like me, gradually, language learning itself started to feel harder. I saw so many messages like never before about others who learned German faster, more efficiently, with a perfect accent, without studying, surrounded by opportunities I myself did not have. You can imagine it's frustrating to see the many language learning ads with AI tutors, videos, articles, language influencers these days, yes, including me sometimes, that give the illusion of language learning will be easy for you always with this and that method. Because even when a method, resource, or way of being does work for us and our language learning routine, the same method might stop working for us in six months. And that can easily feel like we're the problem instead of the resource or the method itself that we're using. This then leads us to feeling lost, disillusioned with the process, shame, and frustration. Maybe a resource or method that's toted as this definitely works and it'll work for you forever. Never even worked for us in the first place and we're still frustrated then. Now our brains love filling in the gaps of other language learner stories who seem successful to us, who seem confident to us. We find our minds telling us, oh, they must not have struggled with what I am right now. They probably aced this in a heartbeat or didn't have to study as much. Therefore, my accomplishments don't look like much next to their accomplishments. Whatever we assume, there always exists the assumption that language learning in some way was easier for them than it was for us. Putting ourselves down in the process, thinking that we failed. And fluency and all of those language goals that used to inspire us from the beginning of our language process now turn into mountains that we don't believe we can climb. But here's the thing, language learner. It is okay to admit language learning is hard. It is practically guaranteed to be hard at some point no matter what, just like it's guaranteed to also be filled with lots of joyful moments and discovery too. Because as much talk as you see online about how to learn fast, most efficiently, lazily, and seeing others impress native speakers, we forget just how much of a personal journey language learning is, how intricately it meshes with our personal lives, our emotions, and our deeply held beliefs and limitations about ourselves as human beings. This does not come with any formula or strategy to easily solve. Language acquisition strategies can only get us so far in building true language confidence that lasts. Language learning is much more an experience than it is an outward achievement or strategy. Everyone is human. Everyone has emotions that are hard to deal with on their language journey. And life and chaos can strike anyone at any point, just like the happy, joyful moments in learning can. Of course, the joyful ones mainly projected. Of course, the joyful ones are the ones that are mainly projected online. Now, I promise this whole language learning thing is not all hard for us every day, nor with every language necessarily, but there will always be something that makes every one of us stumble and question if we are doing the right thing or comparing ourselves. Even the experts or the most famous polyglots ever who proclaim to know 50 plus languages, it's more likely We'll stumble across something hard, especially as we encounter more languages or go deeper with one language. We keep seeing advertisements with the words fast, fluency, in just one month, 
efficient, etc. We see stories from other learners who learned a language effortlessly or by not studying or through lazy methods. When starting on YouTube, even I posted this in titles in the past on my YouTube videos because us creators know what draws attention. We love seeing numbers and feeling certain in seeing those numbers that we're making progress. We want language learning to be easy. And when it gets hard, we might blame ourselves even more for what we think is not doing enough, think we are the problem, everyone else isn't struggling, or criticize ourselves not being like the productive learner on everyone else's highlight reels. But know that slow does not equal bad. Fast does not always equal good either. You're not a failure. There is sometimes a danger in getting what we want too fast. You're not a failure if you think you're slow or you feel you're running out of time or you feel behind. It's not a waste of time to be exactly where you are right now. You and every other language learner before you and after you must go through the stage you're at to get to where you want to be in your language. And that makes this present stage you're in just as worthwhile as the stage where you're fluent and attaining all your other language learning goals of your dreams. You're not bad at what you do. When frustrated, we might tell ourselves language learning isn't right for us because it's hard, but what if language learning is actually meant for you because it's hard, because it forces you to face yourself, your insecurities, your resistance to change, and work on coming to terms with them, understanding yourself just as deeply as you wish to understand the world around you, the cultures around you through your languages. Feeling anxiety frustration, perfectionism, or loss in motivation aren't automatically bad, even though they can make us feel uncomfortable. It's truly an invitation from your body to drop the language learning acquisition strategies, drop the study routine for a second. Turn your focus inward to you, the human behind your languages. What human needs are your body and uncomfortable emotions trying to communicate to you that you aren't meeting? that have been keeping you stuck in your learning, that you may be hoping will just go away if you distract yourself with something else in your learning and you just buy another course or another textbook to cover it up. If you're still here, you're meant to learn your language in this moment and the way that you're learning it on your unique path, no matter what evidence your brain tries to convince you otherwise of. You're carving a new path for yourself that is totally yours. Yes, language learning is guaranteed to be hard for you, just like for everyone else. But I assure you, the journey is worth it and makes the beautiful, quote unquote, easier moments and victories in your learning and in your life that much sweeter and brighter. Thank you for joining me for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you value a more mindful, holistic approach to your language learning. I'll see you in another video. Ciao.